Okay, so ever since Sidney Crosby got hit last year, we've been hearing a lot more about concussions. And because of that high-profile case, head injuries have been in the spotlight like never before. Well, according to one company we recently met up with in Ottawa, that spotlight needs to be a heck of a lot brighter. And they have the gadget to do that. Concussions. The more we hear about them, the scarier they get. And just as frightening are the ones that get away. There's nothing wrong with a lot of the concussion protocols that teams have. The biggest problem we found is teams often don't know when to start using them. With the help of this tiny sensor, this man's plan is to never miss one again. Shockbox is essentially an electronic impact alert sensor designed specifically to alert a trainer or a parent on the bench via a smartphone and say, hey, something happened, you need to start your concussion protocols. Danny Crossman knows big impacts very well. If you've seen the Hurt Locker, you've seen his work. He was one of the main guys behind the creation of heavy-duty bomb disposal suits. Then he dove into the world of shock sensors. All these kids in Iraq and Afghanistan getting uh, exposed to roadside bombs. They need to, to gather that data and figure out, okay, what's happening over the long term so that they can put it into their medical records. Danny knew helmet-mounted sensors could work for hard-hitting sports like hockey and football, but it was a slip into the boards by his business partner's young son that brought the shock box to life. In Scott's son's case, uh, he had a concussion. Scott sent him right back onto the ice because they didn't know. They didn't know because they didn't see. And since players themselves don't know they've been concussed, that is a big problem. The biggest benefit of having a, a shock box alert is that it's essentially an electronic eye. It's looking out, it's always on, it gives them a quantifiable piece of data. The hit was about this big. At the company lab, Danny recreates those big hits to test the shock box in action. So on the drop tower, we have a uh, mechanical head, which has an accelerometer in the center. When the head hits the pad, it sends a signal to a computer that tells us what the maximum peak G-force was that the head experienced. When it comes to G-force, extreme fighter jet maneuvers push about 9G. And a car accident at 60 kilometers an hour? About 50G. But according to Danny, big hits in pro sports can pass 150 G. In a big NFL study done by researchers here in Ottawa, 65% of concussions occurred around the 90 G point. People can still get a concussion at 40 G, but there's a large chunk at that midpoint. With shock box, the alarm is set to sound for any impact 65 Gs or higher. But it's what comes next that's most important. When Shockbox sends an alert to the phone on the sideline of the trainer or the parent, on the player menu, an alert comes up with a color code showing that one of the players has been hit. They got a direction at the top of the helmet, it was one minute ago. That basically gives us some basic information that says, hey, assessment is required. And these are the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, common symptoms of concussion. They can put in observed symptoms. And the software tells the trainer or the parent in this case that further attention is needed. And it shows on the home screen the player has got an unhappy face. He can't play until he's checked out. Although the shock box is new on the scene, OHL teams like the Ottawa 67s are already using the system in practice. It's a good thing having it on our head just to keep safe and uh, people are letting us know if uh, we're getting hit too hard out there. The trainer Neil Hotch has a second set of eyes on the ice, and it's even come in handy when a player's in denial. I can't say, no, I didn't get hit, no, this didn't happen, because, uh, you know, there's that concrete proof right in my hands that, you know, the event did happen. Moving forward, Danny sees the shock box as an important tool for concussion research, and not just for high-impact sports. We did some trials out in Calgary with the uh, Alberta Bobsleigh and Skeleton Association. Those sliders get a lot of hits, uh, low threshold hits as they go down the, uh, the hill, and over time those build up. No matter the sport, Shockbox does have its critics who say you just can't measure a concussion with G-Force alone. For them, Danny just has this to say. 
you're right there, there's absolutely no magic number where somebody will get a concussion everybody's brain is entirely different but the aim is to be able to catch as many as possible because right now we don't have anything 